Here, let us perform an activity to know the internal structure of the heart. Click each tab. As the structure of all the mammalian heart is similar, let us take the heart of either goat or sheep for observation. To perform this, we require some materials such as freshly collected specimen of heart of a sheep or goat from the butcher, soda straws, sharp or long blade scalpel, tray and a jug with full of water, dissection scissors and forceps or 3D model of heart. Before performing the experiment, wash the heart thoroughly such that the blood is completely drained from the chambers. Place the heart in a tray in such a way that large arch like ventricle must face upwards. Take the soda straws and insert them properly into the stumps, base of the blood vessels. Place the heart in the tray in such a way that the ventral side should be facing upwards. Now, take a scalpel and open the heart in such a way that the chambers are exposed. It is observed that the exposed heart is in the form of a pear shape with triangle outline. It is wider at the anterior end and narrower at the posterior end. The arrangement of blood vessels, coronary vessels on the border of the heart are observed. Throughout the heart, the thickness of the wall is not uniform. In the lower part of the heart, a white colored structure is observed. It is observed that the heart has four chambers. On left side, two chambers, one upper anterior and one lower posterior. On right side too, there are two chambers, one upper anterior and one lower posterior. The heart is divided into four parts by grooves, two upper parts called auricles and the two lower ones called ventricles. It is observed that the ventricles are relatively thicker than auricles. The left auricle and left ventricle are smaller than the right auricle and right ventricle. It is observed that the two arteries and two ventricles are separated from each other by muscular partitions. There are two openings in the right auricle side called as superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. In the left auricle, we can observe the openings of pulmonary veins. From the upper part of the left ventricle, a thick blood vessel arises called aorta. From the upper part of the right ventricle, pulmonary artery arises. By careful examination, we can also observe the valves on the pulmonary artery and aorta. The heart is covered by two membranes called pericardial membrane. The space between the two layers of pericardial membrane is filled with pericardial fluid which protects the heart from shocks. The blood vessels which are observed on the walls of the heart are called coronary vessels. They supply blood to the muscles of the heart. A total of six blood vessels are attached to the heart, out of which two blood vessels are rigid and the remaining four are less rigid. The rigid vessels are called arteries. They originate from the heart and supply blood to various organs of the body. Iota is the largest artery. It supplies oxygenated blood to the body parts. Pulmonary artery is the smallest one. It supplies deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. Veins are the less rigid vessels that bring blood from different parts of the body to the heart. Superior vena cava is present at the anterior end of the right side of the heart. It collects blood from anterior parts of the body. Inferior vena cava is present at the posterior end of the heart. It collects blood from posterior part of the body. The left auricle has two pulmonary veins. It collects blood from lungs. 
the openings between auricles and ventricles are protected by valves. The two auricles and two ventricles are separated from each other by muscular partitions called septa. The valve present on the right auriculoventricular septum between right atrium and right ventricle is referred to as tricuspid valve. The valve present on the left auriculoventricular septum between left atrium and left ventricle is referred to as bicuspid valve or mitral valve. A major blood vessel that originates from right ventricle is pulmonary iota. The valves present at the region of pulmonary iota are called pulmonary valves. A major blood vessel originates from left ventricle is systemic iota. The valves present at the region of systemic iota are called systemic valves.